three, two, one. Jared Haas with FreshStretch.com. Down here with J.J. Yaley. J.J. Yaley unfortunately wrecked out early in the race. What happened from your perspective? Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I'm going to say it's probably youth out there being a little exuberant on lap two of a uh, very long race. So, uh, you know, we qualified 14th, was just kind of cruising along. You know, we we're still running three and four wide, which you'll usually have here on restarts. This racetrack is exceptionally wide. And uh, I got a little bit loose. The 45 got underneath me. And as I was coming off of uh, turn two, my spotter was, you know, telling me there was someone to the outside of me, which was fine. There was still plenty of room out there. And then all of a sudden, uh, I just started getting hooked in the right rear, started turning me up the racetrack, never let go. Uh, until it turned me until we hit the back straightaway fence and uh, you know I could see that the fender was popped up knew that uh, you know there was a you know fairly substantial damage didn't have any brake pedals so you know obviously killed a brake line or something so I uh, made it back to pit road you know you could tell the, the uh, you know the damage was just too uh, extensive to get fixed and you know a, a super short day for uh, your last race for having work pro tools on the car and uh, just disappointed because again we, uh, we thought we had a pretty good car we were 15th in practice uh, 14th in qualifying, uh, like I said, the car was a little bit loose, but the sun was out. It's going to go down. Racetrack's going to change uh, a bunch before we get to the end of this thing. So I guess it didn't really matter for us. Did you realize that you were four wide coming off a of turn two? Yeah, I mean, my spotter said there was guys the outside of me. Obviously, the 45 was still underneath me. So, I mean, I was uh, completely aware of where I was on the racetrack and who was around me. Uh, you know, I didn't know who it was at the time. I guess they said it was the 27 car, so... Uh, not uncommon for uh, for some of his antics that have happened this year. So again, it just um, it, racing probably a little bit too hard for everyone else. Again, I was just completely content, just kind of cruising and uh, making sure we got there to the end. Again, knowing the racetrack was going to change a ton. That uh, you know, if you had a car that was going to be good in the first 15, 20 laps of race, you're going to be in trouble at the end of this thing. JJ Yaley out of the race here at Homestead. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit frontstretch.com for more great content.